Hi, this is Jeffrey Sovereign with Community Talk. It is a show we are going to be recording over the Valley Access Studios here. And as you can see below there, we are presenting the Shakespeare Theater 20th Anniversary Show. Community Talk Live has been doing Shakespeare Theater shows for 20 years. Now, I think it was some, I don't know how I really learned of this. I'll tell you how I did. Year 2000, maybe it's imperfect, maybe I'm off on my years. I did go to a show at the Shakespeare Theater. By the way, it's located at the southwest area of Century College. It's about a mile north on Century Avenue of 694. And back then, I don't think it was as good now, but they had their own stage. I was so happy that it was just, and so relaxed that it's an outdoor stage. And even yeah. back then, the actors were just like right alongside me waiting to get onto the stage, to talk to the stage. People were bringing their, um, you know, goodies or whatever they're munching on and they, they could eat, eat their dinner there. Just so a relaxed atmosphere. It's done in the late evening at that time. That's the show I went to. I did call a show called The Merchant of Venice. And I think that was around 2000, 2001, something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. I remember that. I said, wow, that is really interesting stage. Somehow I got a hold of it and learned of a man by the name of George Wade. Now, we did one show with him. Um, I'll be candid with you. He was a smart person, intelligent, but no matter how you look at it, and Ron and I say this, there's something he went bad, he didn't do good as, as health habits, and he did die, not, not a real old age. I mean, he was probably his 50s, I think, 40s when mm -hmm. he was on our show. You know, he's one of those people that just have an instinct of being very smart. I mean, it's just him, very intellectual, very thinking kind of a person, some people like that. And then he had a heartfelt dedication to present theater, Shakespeare theater, to the people of this community. Now, my understanding is, I think I'm right on this, he started out with parks, just like going on certain city parks. Yep, the and first season. It was just the first season of Shakespeare. Of, uh, it was called Theater on the Move. Theater on the Move. Yep. Oh, like probably went to Maplewood and Woodbury and yep, St. Paul. Around, he came to Stillwater and did a oh. show here and yep, different probably. parks around, Como Park in St. Paul. Okay. Um, but they just did that for one season and it was just, it was too much yep. to have to unload and load, uh, you know, in and out of all the different parks. And yep. they wanted to have a, a permanent home base. And you're smart enough to hook up with Century College. Yep. Called that time Lakewood, I believe. Yep, Lakewood Community College. And so do you know the year actually they started Century? Uh, the, the first season when they were doing the touring was 1976. And so starting with 1977 season, they were at Lakewood. That long? I thought yeah. it was an 80 he started. So they've been nope. here for 70, 40, this, 41 years they've been This at. summer is our 43rd season. 43rd year. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that's mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. And um, they'd done Shakespeare fears all then. So I learned of it. And um, actually, it was the first year we actually had Lakeshore on, too. So it's 20th anniversary of Lakeshore. We're going to do that this fall. Um, so I had him on a show. Actually, Jeff Hatfield called, had a brilliant call, talked about Shakespeare, a lot of interesting calls. And, but one interesting thing George said, um, I, he was just so easy and smart and intelligent describing Shakespeare theater. But he said one interesting thing that has stuck in my mind. Sometimes you say interesting information. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, they talk about Shakespeare. He's also an actor, and they thought he wasn't a good actor. And George says, that is just pure rubbish. He acted for 20 years, and in order to survive in that environment, you had to be a good actor, you know? Yeah. So I gave intelligent information about that, and they talked about some Shakespeare plays. Says, I sure like Shakespeare's plays, but actually, Jeff, he was honest with you. This is just pure fantasy. <laughs> it, was, it was some new Shakespeare movie had out at that time. He said, it's just so silly. It's not Shakespeare. You know, average person. So then we went into a person, I believe it might have been the next year after that, called Stu Neighbor. Is that his name? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tall guy, bald person, sort of like George, very smart, but, well, in a different way. I mean, everybody has his characters. We did about 10 shows with him, and to about 2011, uh, Tim believes, mm -hmm. And we had a sword fight. We, I got in a sword fight of, I think it was King Lear. Is that you, King Lear? Oh. Yeah. Yep, that was, mm -hmm. yeah. Could have been it or another one. Another one time we had it <coughs> on our show. I'm just bring things back. We're gonna replay a show, by the way, and then we're gonna sort of give you inside information. But I'm giving you historical things. So, uh, but he talked about one time, I think it was King Lear, and a guy said, see this, is, see, this is what you get. You're gonna see this another time coming up, these actors and actresses. 
King Lear. So he's sort of a Kremlungy guy, it's sort of an interesting guy. King Lear, sort of a real mm -hmm. character, yeah, 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 right. And you know how they describe these actors describe it, a, a different character Shakespeare had, and um, very interesting uh, situation. Now George Rush, Ressler, Ressler, mm -hmm. Ressler, with, with a W. No, with an R. R, R O E S S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Russ, is that front? Wrestler? Wrestler. So he started a little bit after, he helped George a little bit after George. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, uh, George Wade um, got connected with George Wrestler in 1984. Oh, so many years, about 10 years, he was out. Okay. Yeah. So then um, George came out, um, George Wade had needed another director for the season. Right. And so got connected with George Wrestler. And then brought him in in that season, and then George Wrestler's been with the company ever since then. He's sort of the head of the company. And then, right? yeah, when when George Wade passed away in '98, right. right. then George Wrestler took over as the artistic director. And uh, does George Wrestler Wrestler direct plays too mm -hmm. right now? Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Every well, year. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for that because we got to bring another show. We're going to have another show coming up. I believe Greg is going to put after this show. The next show talk about this year's 19, 2018 Shakespeare plays. So that's what mm -hmm. Greg Takarshi says he's going to do. So if you want to stay tuned, just stay tuned. We're going to see another show coming up uh, a little bit later on about this year's sh uh, Shakespeare plays. So um, anyway, so uh, George Wrestler, uh, he start now. Th then you took over from Stu. Um, the directing about 2011, correct? Yes, yeah, Stu's last season, I believe, was 2011, and then I was asked to direct in 2012. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I came in and directed for a year, and then um, they've had, I haven't directed since then. They've had uh, a different director come in right. uh, and direct the, the third show. He likes auto racing. That's what he described. Jeff, I like auto racing. He's doing some auto racing thing or something like that. Yes, right? Stu is a Stu's a big auto racing uh, aficionado. He does. Yep. He actually drives the cars and everything. Yep, he's a character. Yeah, yep. he's a fun character. And, and Tim is in all way very interesting, uh, very smart. Has a lot of knowledge about this. Um, so did, now, did you know George Wade at all while he was? I did. Yeah, I, I started. Uh, I graduated from high school in 1988. Wow. So okay. then I went out to uh, start my college courses at at Lakewood. Okay, then sure. Lakewood now Century, um, and then I was involved with the, the George Wade was the head of the theater, theater program at mm -hmm. at uh, Lakewood. So I heard about Shakespeare and Company, and, and I did done several mm -hmm. shows with George okay. um, over my time there. I was there for about three years, but then kept coming back for Shakespeare and Company after. No, this is my perspective on George Wade. Maybe I have a different one. What are your thoughts about George Wade? When you experience boy well uh, George was kind of uh, I like to when I try to explain my relationship with George mm -hmm. uh, George was kind of my theater dad oh. um, he was a, a mentor and a friend uh, mm -hmm. taught me a lot as a young actor mm -hmm. um, took the time um, you know for this 18 year old kid who really didn't know anything about Shakespeare yeah nice uh, guy I mean that yeah you know I mean what the heck there's plenty of people who just naturally Helpful, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. He w he had a passion for the work and a passion for helping students grow in their craft as actors. Yeah. That's what I mean. He had a heart for this thing, you mm -hmm. know. I have a heart Definitely. for community table cable. I, I I've been doing this uh, community access for 2000, 1993, so it's my 24th year, I think, something like that. Uh, community Talk Live was uh, over 22 years. We started uh, 1996. Community Talk Live, so you know. And you, you present these things, and um, what George Wade and then Russell did, I mean, um, they present, oh, I, I'm just thinking of something, and we'll get through the, we'll, we'll get through the, the script, but just interesting thought. <coughs> um, I think at first, the first two years, like 2001, two, three, in there, in 99, 98, that they're doing three Shakespeare plays, and then they change to a Shakespeare and the Monaire play. That, that, that is correct pronunciation? Uh, it, yeah, it, it wasn't all of one, and then it kind of varies from year to year. Mm -hmm. You know, we, they, yeah. we may, usually if it's an anniversary season, we'll do, we'll do they'll select all Shakespeare shows written okay. by Shakespeare. Um, other years, they'll do two shows written by Shakespeare and the Moliere comedy. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, back when this, when, when I first started with the company, there were several years we did two Shakespeare's and a Greek play or a, a Roman play. You know, so almost every year they've only done two Shakespeare's and a different one. Mo most of the years it's, it's not all three Shakespeare. Yeah, 
It's through and that's where the and company part of Shakespeare and company comes in. So no. he wanted to, you know, do a plays of Shakespeare, but also of Shakespeare's a contemporary. Different ones. Yeah. And now Monaire was a playwright. Because I'm, I'm saying Monaire because we did many shows with Monaire too in the 2000s. Almost every show you talked about Monaire somehow. Yeah. Monaire was was he an Italian playwright? Am French. Right? Yeah. French. Yeah. And um, basically Shakespeare's time, correct? Mm -hmm. So if it's similar to Shakespeare plays. Yep. Now this year we have a little different thing. We have an Oscar Wilde play, so just stay tuned for that. A little change of pace here. Mm -hmm. We describe that one right there. Okay, let's. Uh, that's the history of it. But <laughs> let's just play a previous Shakespeare show we've done, and Tim and I are going to listen to this. We're making our comments of it, give you more insight about uh, the Shakespeare uh, Theater on uh, on our show and about Shakespeare Theater. So here, this is a 2014. 14, and what, yeah. what play were they talking? The plays at that. Time? Uh, the plays we did that summer were uh, As You Like It, uh, The Bourgeois Gentleman, which was Moliere. Okay. Uh, and uh, what was the other one? Comedy of Errors, I think. Midsummer, not Midsummer. No, not Midsummer. As You Like It. And Com we're doing Comedy of Errors this year. I don't think. Yeah. Did. No, it wouldn't have been Comedy of no, Errors. I don't know. I'll have to look it up on my phone. Okay. Maybe we might see what I think. Here we go. Play it right here. Here we go. 2014. At, at Lake Lake. Uh, I'd say I'm not sure exactly yeah. of the number of that, but okay. I, I would assume it's... Yeah, at least 20 years, 20, 30 years. Um, so, and then the three shows this summer are Here Julius Caesar, As You Like It, and The Bourgeois Gentleman. So. Uh, which ones are Shakespeare and which one is the, the Monaire play? Moliere. Moliere. Um, Julius Caesar and As You Like It are the Shakespeare or uh, the Shakespearean shows, and then Moliere wrote The Bourgeois Gentleman. Ah, so. very interesting. So mm -hmm. now, are all of you involved with the Julius Caesar? Or are you involved with other plays too? Okay. All three of us are involved in uh, Caesar, um, and then. Actually, all three of us are involved in the bourgeois gentleman as uh, as well. Ah, okay. Well, let's talk about um, Julius Caesar. Um, hopefully, George, will George Russell be here? You think? Or? He will not be. Oh, he sent okay. us as his. Uh, are, are any of you his no, liaisons? All, right, his are all, all of you actors here? Or? No, I'm not. I'm I'm one of the directors. You're the director, mm -hmm. and you're directing Julius. No, I'm directing uh, the Moliere piece, The Bourgeois Gentleman. Bourgeois Gentleman, mm -hmm. okay. So, and I can give uh, yeah, more information. Yeah, why don't you tell us about that? Well, I was going to give you information, number one, about how to get tickets, um, and then also okay. the website. Sure. So, if you're interested, the adult prices uh, for tickets are $15, seniors are 13 children and under are free with an adult, and then number to call would be 651-779-5818. And the um, the company website is www.shakespeareandcompany spelled out dot org. And so let's let's put that on. It's um, it's spelled out. Um, if Ron is over there, you can plug in uh, Shakespeare S H S H A K E S H A K K E S S H A K E S P A R E is Shakespeare. P A R E. P A R E is Shakespeare. Um, and company, a n d company right dot org, and then a n d company dot org. So we'll, we'll get that on the screen for you to help you out right there. <coughs> and um, we we can't tell you how much the prices of the tickets are, Sorry about but that. we just can tell you they're reasonable. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're not going to make you broke. We can go that far. It's some regulation, so um, they're reasonable tickets. And, and am I right? You can bring your, your, your food there and munch on yeah. it while you're doing Absolutely. there? Bring a whole picnic. We've had people. Okay, here we go. That's an interesting <laughs> interchange there about the theater. But, you know, what I'm saying, this is basics we always present. We always promote the show and give you basic information so you can go to the shows. Uh, um, we're a little bit pressed this year because I was sort of off on my timing. I thought we'd go into August, it doesn't. But we're, we're gonna replay this next week. And now the interesting thing you, you see about that, I mentioned the tickets, and um, we've always said that. We're not gonna do it this time because that's an SCC rule, a, a, a public access rule, but they are presentable tickets. So, you know, th that's the basics of, of what we always do. And the Julius Caesar, we're gonna get into this. I'll tell you what I want you to do. Can you guys advance this about five minutes and then play it? If you can advance it five minutes the next time. What about the Julius Caesar? That's very interesting that I was talking about. He was, one of the plays was, was this, correct? Yep, Julius Caesar, was, yeah. And, and which play was that, do you recall? 
Uh, that was, uh, I think that was the first show that opened the season uh, back in 2014. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because um, kind of the, the companion piece or the, uh, the next, um, after Julius, the events of Julius Caesar happened, you know, he was a real guy. Right. So it was sure. sort of a history play that Shakespeare yeah. wrote as much as he could. Um, the next, those characters continue on and do another play called Antony and Cleopatra. Which we're doing this season. Really, he did. I think yep. you learn something every day. That I wow, that would be interesting. So <laughs> that's Mark, very well known. That Mark but, Antony was a prominent character in Julius right. Caesar. He did the Friends, Romans, Countrymen, Lend Me Your Ears speech. You know that people have probably heard before. And there's a great movie, Richard Burton and yep. Elizabeth Taylor. Absolutely. With yep. So th th see, this is an interesting thing. What we did. Um, we, Julius Caesar does all kinds of plays. I, I'm sorry, William Shakespeare. He does all kinds of plays, historical plays. Mm -hmm. Comedy plays, a Midsummer Night's Dream, romantic plays. So Tragical over the comedy. years, yeah, historical yeah. pastoral. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. And we presented all these different kinds of plays and these different aspects of, uh, of Shakespeare and how great he was is all different things. I mean, th this guy was just super talented beyond belief, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I've talked to Stu about it, and I said, Stu, what's the thing about Shakespeare? I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for this for the show, for the sure. show. But um, people get so aware just by listening to our show, and these are very intelligent people, these actors and actresses. Um, all these people know a lot about Shakespeare, about um, the great variety of different abilities he had to present all kinds of plays and uh, the ability to relate to people very well. So can you advance this tape now? Uh, we'd like people to advance about five minutes if you can. Move that little thing there. So I'm going to get a little bit more along in the tape here. Um, Ron, if we could advance it, if you could. And then go back onto the tape, 2014. Uh, again, this is one of the many shows we did. This is the 20th anniversary. We're, Tim and I, here we go. And we're playing. Here we go. Uh, play the tape, please, Ron. Uh, play the tape. If not, we have to get Jordan in there. Um, play the tape. It is not playing correctly. Okay, tell Ron, why don't you go back to the studio, then get Jordan in here, okay? We'll go back, back to the studio, talk a little more about it. Ah, we're back again. So, um, anyway, um, that's about the normal set we had. At, we had about the same amount of actors and actresses mm -hmm. on there. And um, it's always nice for Shakespeare Theater to do that. Um, that was played at a different area, the SCC area, Suburban Community Channels. Um, unfortunately, the bad politics uh, wiped that out, but we have a very nice person called Greg Bukarski. He says, sure, come on over to Stillwater. So now we're playing it over Stillwater. And um, Stillwater really is not that far from Shakespeare Theater. You take Highway 36, yep. 694. Yep. <laughs> you just get on 694, you take a mile, you, you get on Century Avenue, and, Right there, there you are, yep, Shakespeare Theater. Not far at all. Well, let's let's get more history about it. now. I remember I was at I think two or three of them, Merchant of Venice. By the way, I think Shylock got ripped off on this. <laughs> <laughs> Describe this. Get, what do you think yeah, about that? Yeah, I, well, I think that's, that's a, there's a lot of problems with that. You know, with that play, especially through looking at it through today's yeah. society. Right. You know, there's the whole the way that that the Jewish people were looked at. Mm -hmm. You know, even you know more recent history, yeah. but definitely back in Shakespeare's time, right? You know, uh, the, those the Jewish people were not held in very high regard, yeah. And so that's you know, um, there was he had the kind of that bias against him, mm -hmm. um, and so that was definitely something that he had to deal with, and you know, during that play. And there's something about loans that wasn't being wasn't being paid, and they mm -hmm. said, "Well, you bad for what? You know, hey, you should get a loan paid. You know, mm -hmm. keep a little bit." But I, I mean, I like Shylock. Uh, I mean, he was a character. He didn't have all his good sides too. He does all sorts of things. But um, gosh, just an incredible character Shakespeare created in that guy. I mean, just. I just, think that I know one of your favorites is *Midsummer Night's Dream*. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. And that yeah. was, I think, the last time we did that. You came out and saw uh, one of those. I yeah, I think that was about two, three years that. ago. Yeah. They had, they had three great plays, Midsummer Night's Dream, mm -hmm. and then, didn't they have um, Romeo and Juliet then too? Romeo and Juliet was last done as a part of our uh, 35th anniversary season. But, but, but with Midsummer Night's Dream, wasn't Romeo and Juliet the same year or not? Don't um, 
I know they had two good plays. It in. was, not yeah. the last time. We've done Midsummer again since then. Yeah. But for the 35th, I think it was the thir yeah, 35th anniversary season, we had done um, uh, Romeo and Juliet and Midsummer. You're right, right. But then uh, a couple years ago, 2016, so just two years ago, we did Midsummer again. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Great mm -hmm. place. Okay, so um, are we ready to go now for the show? I th we're not re ready. Okay, that's all right. We give a little more fill in here about um, that play. By the way, since you might not even get this question, you probably won't. Um, since you're here, you can do it. Um, we're going to have a jam packed show uh, coming <laughs> up. Five people here, we're going to find my experience, and Tim will definitely be here. What's your, do you have a favorite play of Shakespeare? Boy, that's, I get asked that that's all the time. One that's, of your favorites. I know it's hard to pick such a tough so question. Um, you know, one, uh, Midsummer is, is one of, one yeah. of my favorite shows. I like Lance, 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 Lancaster, right? Lancaster's, yeah, yeah. The, the uh, Henry the Fourth and Henry the Fifth. Yep. Um, or the Lancastrian kings. This is why I like Midsummer Night's Dream. There's only four characters, which is easy to. No, there's four main characters. Than, I think. Well, there's the four. There's the two sets of lovers. Right. And then there's the mechanicals, which is, you know, the, right. And then there's some jo jokesters and that. Yeah. But the two yeah. sets of lovers are four main characters that you're sort of always following. And they're all interesting characters mm -hmm. and they relate to a love relationship. It's not a rough thing. No, they don't kill themselves like Romeo and Juliet. You yep. know what I mean? Right. <laughs> it's a pleasant one. It's like a dream. And tell me when we're, we're ready, Ron. That's why I like it. And okay, Tim, usually, I'm sorry, I interrupt you. So, no, no, so yeah. Back to your favorite. Usually, it's it's easy to tell if it's a comedy or a tragedy. If somebody if somebody dies in the end, then it's a tragedy. If somebody right. gets married in the end, it's usually a comedy. It's a comedy, <laughs> right? Right. And Midsummer is sort of a light comedy, but there was. And you if know, both happen, then yeah. it's then it's usually a history. Yeah. <laughs> now the historical ones um, do have us. He did a lot, of, almost real. I mean, they're all it's almost exactly real where they were. Some of them. Uh, do you have a favorite historical one that he did? Well, Henry V is is uh, one of my favorite yeah. history plays. Mm -hmm. um, I always felt that it, that was the first, my first exposure to Shakespeare was through that okay. play and kind of the films of Kenneth Branagh. Right. Uh, and uh, I've directed it several times as well. Let's try to go back to the show. Can we go back to the show, Ron? Okay. Um, when he comes in, just flip flip us on the show right away. Okay. Um, you know, how about Macbeth? Yeah. It, when was it done? I, don't even I believe that was the we did that last in 2013. Okay. So yeah. it's been uh, about four or five years. Yeah. Um, since that. Hamlet. Uh, Hamlet we did for the 40th anniversary season, so that was three years ago. Two years ago we did Hamlet. Okay. Three. Yep. Yeah. Those are powerful plays to me. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Yep. I mean, just as powerful characters, the way. And, and that's what we, when on our shows, we always have these different kind of things. We spent so many, we could spend half an hour of all the different things Shakespeare can do, which mm -hmm. hardly anybody else can do. And he, he does it so well. I, I, I'll give you my thing, and this is what Stu said too. Shakespeare has the ability to relate to real emotions. I mean, almost every time you have a hard acting, hard acting is when you act deep emotions, you know? Mm -hmm. And Shakespeare can bring these out and we can relate to them the same way people were 500 years ago. And that's one of the reasons why I think he's so successful. He's yeah, being successful. yeah, the themes that, that Shakespeare wrote about were universal, yeah. not just a, a, in that time frame, but as we've seen, that's the reason why he's still so popular today still is that yeah. the themes that he was writing about are still relevant today. Yeah. You know, abuse of power and politics and you know, all of, all of those things. And, and love stories mm -hmm. and all this kind of stuff. They're still yeah. relevant today. We're trying to get this um, coming back on the air. Hopefully we'll be able to do that to replay that 2014 show. Um, but anyway, so um, let me tell you about another thing, a sword fight. Um, now, do you remember this? Um, I think it was, um, it was an English, about an English play where he had, a, can you remember what play that was about 2000? Seven not, or eight, I don't nine. think I was. I don't think I was here for that. No, you weren't. Yeah. St Stu and another person got in a sword fight. Okay. But I don't want. I don't. You're, you're calling me play. I might. It was about English, a person. Might have been a history. Um. My. Oh, it, it may. It may have been Richard the Second. That could have been it. Yeah. Because I believe Stu. Yeah. I think Stu did have a, a sword fight in that show. Probably 2008, nine, somewhere. Around. Yeah, it was 2008. Yep. That was yeah. probably it. Yep. But you know, so that was an interesting thing, and. 
these guys actually fought. I mean, it, 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 just, you know, it was really fun. I wanted to see, you know, we always like to do that. We'll try to get a little acting part too uh, when the actors, actors come in. Maybe if there's something that they could do a little acting part of, of the play, that's always fun to do. And um, our actors a lot of times have done this. They've s simply, um, you know, portions of the play, they've acted back and forth. Um, I don't think Shakespeare did a musical, did he? No. Well, no. there's, there, some of Shakespeare's plays do have music. In them. Some music, but not a musical as a lot. Not song. a not a musical as we understand right. American <laughs> musicals. Not like yeah. a sound music, right. Oklahoma right. or anything right. like right. that. Yeah. yeah, but you know, sometimes we do that. So so we did a lot of that. And uh, oh, by the way, another historical thing: um, George Wade's daughter was Lee Ro Lee Wade, mm -hmm. and um, she was on our show once yeah, or twice. I actually saw her uh, down in um, Lower Town the last time. Was dressed and I think like, she uh, is in nice Broadway. She's the last time I talked to her. Is that? Do you know where she is right now? Yeah, she's in New York. She went to Juilliard uh, and graduated from Juilliard, and she's been working in New York mm -hmm. as an actress. Mm -hmm. And so she's carrying on George's uh, profession there to uh, be an actor, and which is really cool. Do um, you know if George um, actually acted, or was he only dressed? Boy, I, I, I think George was in one play, yeah. and I may be mixing my Georges here. George Wade. George Wade versus about. George Wrestler. But I, I think um, I George was, uh, the, Wade the was in one play was, uh, and setting just up my and didn't. For the show. He would much and rather be on the other eye, side. Every year, Stu was in a play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he, Stu likes to get another yeah. interesting sidelight. And we had two, three years where Stu was talking about the practical jokes they play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Sure, sure. I mean, these guys are They have fun. I mean, yeah. and it, it sort of makes it easier to do your play when you're sort of Having fun, you're rehearsing and all that kind yeah. of stuff, practical jokes and everything, yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. So I'll give you a quick historical note. When was a, the stage improved? Uh, they they uh, tore down and rebuilt the stage. I believe that was 2007. 2007. You know, that's so interesting. They have a permanent stage, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like a historical stage. And by the way, it is almost exactly like the Globe Theater that occurred in Shakespeare's time. It is an outdoor theater like the Globe was, mm -hmm. and you could bring your own food and everything like that. And um, so they are really, really reenacting what occurred, what Shakespeare did, William Shakespeare, the plays he did at that time, mm -hmm. the exact same setting, the exact same thing, friendly atmosphere. Before and after the play, you could talk to the actors. Um, it's just a, such a, a friendly theater. And when I've been there, um, it's sort of like Lakeshore. If you know Lakeshore, they just it's really put on good, high quality productions, good plays, you know. The, these actors and actresses and, and the directors do good work. And um, I think, uh, how much time do we have? I think we're running down. We might be able to get to the, the previous play. Um, so um, when was the last, are, are you doing any acting now? In yep, the oh, I'm, in, I'm in two year. of the shows this summer. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. I'm in uh, Anthony and Cleopatra and in the Comedy Bears. Oh, comedy there is, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, this is what I do too. I probably try to talk more about a play I like that's more interesting, and I'm probably gonna do comedy there more than anything else, because right away it clicks in my mind. That's a very popular one. Sure. Here we go, uh, 2014. And trying to get it going here. A uh, little technical problems, we're trying to get it going. Um, and there you're seeing me without my cap, for, believe it or not. I look <laughs> decent, I guess, oh. but. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, there oh, we yeah. go. So it's, oh. it was it was wonderful to come back and and get to and being honored to, to get to do that for him. So yeah. it was. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd had done a lot of musical theater beforehand, but I hadn't really worked too much in about three or four years. So Stu Neighbor was also in camera number two, a little bit down on Iris. Stu Neighbor was also in a Grove Heist. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was his yeah. thing too. Great, wonderful color right there. So I guess Inner Grove Heights really is a strong theater yeah, to find. He's, and George has always been one of those people to, um, when he's when he's found someone he really he, he can really pull something out of and, and, right. and, and give more to him. Oh, he's, he takes them under their under his wing and, oh. and he really nurtures them and he really sure. nurtures the passion. Yeah, um, switch it over. Right? He Back never gives go. up on the We're people. Go yes, on. I think that's what's I know. Who was that person on the far left just talking? Uh, his name was uh, Jameson. He was uh, in the 2014 season. He played um, 
Orlando and As You Like It. Yeah, interesting costume, sort of a southern, <coughs> Spanish kind of thing. Shakespeare did that too. Now, yeah. as you can see, while I talk back and forth to people constantly, we've got 30, about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I, it's, it's, I talk back and forth to constantly because people are always involved listening to me and then they relate to me like Tim and I are doing. So that's what's happened many years. For the last 20 years, they had a great play. Very interesting thing, very a fun. Thank you very much for talking. I yeah, really appreciate you. your comments. And Absolutely. it was just old times. Talk about old times. And you get, <laughs> get your thing in, you won't be able to do it. Uh, but the next show, our next show is going to be coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the stay next tuned. show coming up of this year's Shakespeare Plays 2018. <laughs> Thanks for watching.